Welcome to Allergy Season. Let's play Siri where Joey and I play through some difficult games. In this two-parter, we start our way through and we get lost and I don't know where to go and I die a bunch and I get frustrated and a lot of stuff happened between the beginning and the end of this. Like, there's a whole new wardrobe and even the setting has changed. It, it's a lot. But anyway, enjoy. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I got a little loo. I will continue. Yeah, do that. See if you can beat the level while I'm going. We beat the level. Beat the that was a boss. Yeah, no, beat the level. We're on level five. Level five. Level five. I don't know where I'm going. Where is I go? What am I doing? There. Back to Goku, baby. Okay. You! Well, you don't realize how hot it is in this room. Until you leave the room, and you're, and like, you're like, oh, Holy it's so nice out here. Yeah. So I talked to Garman. Yeah. What do you have to say for himself? Go to Odeon, which yeah. I'm aware you were here for. Yeah. Went there. Yep. Yeah. Went forward. Yep. Yeah. Led me to the church. Good. <laughs> with the old lady. Great. Uh, I'm going to... Not quickly just okay this door is open <laughs> so level five oh, pointing up la, 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 la. level five elevator goku oh hello i doth believe there's a secret here oh, okay i'll i'll get it don't worry Ooh. Secret, secret. Secret, secret. I you got a secret. You think I'm the first person to ever find a secret? Yep. Secret, secret. I got a secret. I am a modern man. Open the chest. Hi up there! Open the ring. Don't know what he got. Mr. Robot. Messenger Urn Festival. Domo Domo Ding 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 Domo Domo Ding Ding Domo what he got to Mr. Robot to do in the job. Nobody wants to. Accessory adored by naive messengers. The messengers wear the urns filled with incense that ward off beasts on their heads upside down. Suggesting a pretty. Yeah, that was poor syntax on my part. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel as babes? Yeah, why not? Fucking gibberish. Dum dum. That explains why the skulls were in them. Ah. And I cut off a bunch of messenger heads. Is that that kind of environmental storytelling I've heard so much about in these games? Yeah. Formless odor. Runes, a secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth. Carol. The Great One Oedon, lacking form, exists only in voice and is symbolized by this rune. Those who memorize it enjoy a larger supply of quicksilver bullets. Human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade and the essence of the formless Great One. Oedon, both Oedon and his inadvertent worshippers, surreptitiously seek the precious blood. So if you use it, you get more bullets? Yeah. Cool. Max. Max QS oh, yeah. bullets held up. It also uh, looks very much like the logo for Quake. Hmm. Or the Mandalorian. So Carol, eh? <laughs> yeah, Carol from Bergenworth. Fucking Carol. Carol of Bergenworth. Carol's the name of, like, every... Am I gonna die? Ooh, Fuck it! No, you're fine. Oh, that was actually not bad. Uh, Carol's always the name of, like, an HR rep. Mm, Carol from HR. Yeah. 
Carol or Karen? Woohoo. I bet that's death. Let's find out. No, it's going to call the elevator back. No, I know. I'm oh, jumping down there? Yeah, yeah that's death. I wouldn't do that. Elevator! First floor, menswear. First Carol rune. Yay! If I recall correctly, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that the guy who was on the roof or just another one of his ilk? <laughs> who gave this guy that gun? Uh, so what do you do with that? You give yourself more ammo. You still only have a maximum of 20. So I think you, you have to... Do... I think you have to, like, apply them? Hmm. Ooh, communion. I'd like to speak to your manager, Karen. Yeah, exactly. A secret symbol left by Carol. Hey, Runesmith of Bergenwood. Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood administration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. So you... So we found two uh, carol runes in as many minutes. You touched on something really cool, actually. Which? The so head? you... No, you touched on the environment items. Yeah, that's environmental storytelling. Because there is no definitive yeah, story. Yeah, it's all just you gotta read yeah. shit and figure it out. Which is why I'm like, you should get a kick yeah. out of this. it is cool. It's a thing that I find very fascinating, um, and I'm glad that you were playing, because there's no way I would sit through it just to get to that stuff. That stuff is great, but like, I'm not... If you guys would like to against. see what he's like playing these games, <laughs> tune in to... Watch your extra live stream yeah, from gone. last year. It's gone. Oh, is it? Yeah. You gotta save that shit to YouTube, yo. I tried to edit it into oh. one video. You know what I found out? I didn't. I don't know. Bye. Um. Uh, my I, I I couldn't do it because I didn't have enough space on my laptop. Oh, that's too bad. So I was like, oh, whatever. And then I wasn't planning on building a new computer anytime soon. Mm. Did you see me? Doesn't look like it. No, he looks like he's a dummy. Uh, well, I, sh I should go in there. If you do it again this year and I come out, I don't want to play this because it was too hard. No, no, we'll play whatever. I liked when we played Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was games fun. are very much my jam. Oh, yeah. I like a game... I mean, I like these kind of games. I think they're really cool, and I like the storytelling of them all. You know, and the idea oh of God. environmental storytelling is really Can cool. I... You need to be pen out because you're about to get cloned. I know. Up the stairs. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. So as I said, these are just like your bog standard Freddy Kruegers. You should be able to kill these guys. Yeah, that one's got a gun. That guy has like one hit left. Just kill him. I don't know what to say, man. I don't <laughs> even know what to say. Uh, yeah, no, I like Extra Life because yeah. I usually aim for like here are the games that I've been playing yeah. that I need to finish now. That makes sense. And then also like yeah, like, I'm probably going to have my one buddy over for Batman, because mm -hmm. we haven't played Batman in a while, and I want to edit Arkham Asylum into a series. Cool. Um, I might have you over, and I might play some Bloodborne, but also, like, yeah, I really enjoyed, like, Soul Calibur, all the games we played. Soul Calibur was a good game. I actually really enjoyed having Mallory come back down at, like, 5 in the morning. <laughs> she came back down, yeah, it was, like, 6 or something in the morning, she came down. She was just like, I'm here for the last. I'm here to help close it out. Yeah. Uh, cathedral. Uh, yeah, she's like, I'm here to help you close it out. And yeah, yeah. That was the year, that was the first year I made it to 8 a.m. Hmm. Yeah. The year before that, I made it to 7, and I was like, this is 24 hours. Fuck daylight savings. I quit. And then, yeah. The year before that, I made it to, like, 5 in the morning, and I was like, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't do it. Well, doing it by yourself, that's the tricky part. It's easier with a friend. It's easier with support. Yeah. The one year I did Uncharted was really good. I did, like, the complete Uncharted 3. Wow. Yeah, I, my, I thought, like, I should try. And then I was like, you know what? It's better if you do it, and then maybe I come over for a bit. Because then I don't have to do it. Yeah. Because as much as I love playing video games, I, it's been so long since I... Like, I don't even get to play for more than, like, an hour or two ever. Like, usually I have, like, 20 to 30 minute sessions. Yeah. Just because of my life and my what have you so it's easier why do you Mortimer we feel like you feel left out of the hunt <laughs> yeah 
So we got we you a chair in. with a gun. So we all pitched in. Why do you have my blood? Because he was the guy I kept saying, you only has one hit left. Why don't you just kill him? No, I killed him. No. I don't know. He's anyway, anyway. The point, my, my point was that... that he's, there was like four of them. You finally did a big thing. The one guy had like one tick of life left. And for some reason he went after the other one. I was like, nah, dude. You gotta... You gotta kill him in, in order. Happy. <laughs> I'm allergic to your bullshit. The ones with the guns should kill them first. Good, good, good. good Hold good. the shreddies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I killed all your friends! This is fine. He didn't even hear you. He's hard of hearing. Yeah. He's got like a little ear trumpet. <laughs> They're just staring at this chest. Would you put it in there? The blood tinge gemstones. Some gemstones? Two. What do you think he's going to do with them? I don't know. Is he coming? I don't know. Do you think Mortimer him? got him? Probably. Mortimer. Hi, my name is Mortimer. Ah! Another <laughs> Mortimer! <laughs> well played. Well played, Mortimer. I see you've played stairs turret before. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. I see you've played knife and spoon before. Your Fuck the your first Crocodile Dundee movie actually holds up. Does it? Yep. It's fun. It's cute. Hey! What's up, buddy? The second one's actually not bad either. It's the third one that just... It is horrendous, just, but it is kind of funny. I need you to trigger that one. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> Guy just, like, fucking runs. Right! <laughs> I'm just continuously getting my ass kicked by this guy. Time to you fuck you get your you ass handed to up. you every day. You get your ass handed to you every day. Get your ass handed to you every day. You get your ass handed to you every day. Come. Is that supposed to help me? It's a song. It's called Ass Handed. <laughs> I wrote it for you. No, I actually Fish wrote it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like, I made a song for you. And I was like. No, if I had a song for you, it would be more like, Brand. You are the wind inside my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh! You fucker! <laughs> I can't believe you did that to him! Oh my god! He pushed him off the roof, he did! <laughs> what an arsehole! Who's the real beast here? <laughs> yeah. We were just out here looking at the sunrise, you fucking arsehole. Sunset. Jerry was saying, he said to me, he said, he said, I've never seen the sunrise. And I says to him, Jerry, well, let's go out there. I'll wheelie out there up to the balcony. And up, oh, comes, I don't... This blo up comes this bloke. He said, I, I don't want to be too much of a... And I said, act. I said, the sky and the cosmos are one, the choir. And so I says to him, I says, Jerry, we'll take you out there. We'll have a look at the... We'll have a gander at the sunrise. He and up comes this bloke. He's got a bloody axe that turns into a bigger axe. <laughs> He said he didn't want to be too much of a bother. I said, Jerry, for you, not Anything. a bother at all. This bloke comes out, no shirt, big axe, <laughs> What does he do? Pushes Jerry off the roof lock. I says, hey! <laughs> he what goes, the fuck are you doing, mate? He goes, spirit bomb, motherfucker! I had no idea what that meant. I didn't know what he meant. I'll keep changing my own accent. I haven't been consistent. Luckily, he had a twin brother with us. With a they gave throw. this one a fucking flamethrower! Yeah, that's right. Ah! Okay. And a friend in the dark. A swashbuckler at that. I'm sorry. Do you also have a fucking flamethrower? The biggest mystery to me about this spooky town is why there are only like seven or eight different people. <laughs> and there's just versions of them. It's just like a bunch of them. What's like in, uh, what's like in the Arkham games? Yeah. Again, there's only like five versions of criminals. Yeah. And you're just like, were you all... The Joker cloned them. Yeah. <laughs> the Radiant Sword Hunter badge. Let's bring it up. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church. The Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. We don't need no stinking badges. A lot of mentions of Ludwig. I wonder if his head's in those jars. Locked. Hmm. Oh. 
I went the wrong way. Silly. silly sauce. I meant to go down. Well. No. But up let us hear. Uh, up lifts us up where we belong. Where eagles fly on a mountain high. Love makes the sad glad we are fools. Throw our lives away for one happy day. We could be heroes just for one day. I was doing the Moulin Rouge uh, elephant love medley. Mm. It was quite I, lovely. Thank you. I loved Moulin Rouge when I first saw it. It was great. <gasps> I know this place. Can you jump? You cannot I, jump. I don't like games where you can't jump. Uh, you can't jump, but I can roll. There is a secret here. I'm taking you to it. All right. Don't worry. White men can't jump. If anyone's watching and they're like, I hope he does the door, I am aiming to do the door. Oh, man, I hope you do the door, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on now, door me, babe. And you missed it. I missed it. Can't you see oh. that I am not afraid? There's the door. How do I get to it? What was that promise that oh, you made? Oh, I fuck up? Oh, I fucked it. We could be heroes. Yeah, I fucked it. Mm, shit. A day late, a buck short. I'm riding the report. I'm losing and failing. It's okay, I and wanted I to move. die. I'm flailing now. The badges are good. The badges are good. We don't need no stinking badges. Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Starring Humphrey Bogart. And directed by John Huston, I want to say. What was that song you were singing before? Which From one? From Moulin Rouge. The Elephant Love Medley? Yeah. Yeah? That song. When you sang it, you sounded like uh, Eddie Redmayne in Les Mis. Oh. Is that good? I didn't. I don't really like Lee Miz, at least not the movie. But I love the movie, the Hugh Jackman one. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. I'm actually in the mood to watch it again. Well, we're playing Blood Bone right now. Hmm. Goku. Eddie Redmayne. He won an Oscar for playing somebody. Lee Miz, Did... I believe. No, I don't think so. No, it was uh, Stephen. The Danish girl or something. Yes. It was. It was the Danish girl. Yeah, you're right. I didn't see the Danish girl. Me neither. I did see his Stephen Hawking, though. The Theory of Everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So... Do I do... Th oh, I forgot he was in The Good Shepherd. I like that movie. Where the fuck is this door? That's a movie I saw in theaters. Okay. By myself, in fact. That. Oh, no, he won the Oscar for being uh, Stephen Hawking. And he was nominated for The Danish Girl. Oh, really? Oh, and he's the cat from the Fantastic movies. The Beasts. He's the one who tells you where to find him. <laughs> he's okay. like, there they are! Fantastic! <laughs> what fantastic... I didn't see those movies. I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing to. there. I gotta get to that fucking door and I don't remember the goddamn way! It's really cool and you're gonna love it! <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ah! <laughs> Did you also make a noise? I was gonna like pretend that I elbowed you and then I'm like, wham, but I didn't. Oh. Well, but I did, but you weren't. But we just somehow made the same noise. We made the same noise! Right. Didn't we? Bastard of Lauren. Special material used in the Holy Chalice ritual. Do you want me to give you a tip? He needs it. Just the tip. <laughs> I shouldn't have giggled at that. Goku! <laughs> I wish this was like Final Fantasy 7 where you could name all the characters. I wish a lot of games were like Final Fantasy 7. Because I would have renamed Yosefka to be Chi Chi. <laughs> I just like, I think that all the boss, like when you get to a boss, it's just. A song is called Those Who Fight Further. Is that the one I need to go on? Yeah, I think that's the one I need to go on. Okay. Oh. Okay. And oh, yes. Yeah. 3D platforming, my favorite type of video here. here. And then... Stop and look left. Probably way a long time. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Because it's time to stop 
Hey, hey, look left now. Everybody <laughs> look and then fall down. Let's look around quickly. You. You're good, you. <laughs> I'm coming for you soon. Stop. Yeah. There's a delay on the chat. That's what I said. So just come so in. Just like, look left. Like probably 30 look seconds left. ago. Yeah. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I gotta do fucking edits for all these deaths. Fuck! <laughs> what are you doing for those? They're all allergy attacks. Oh, right. I'm allergic yeah, to yeah. falling. Falling, right. Oh, good joke. God. Speaking of good joke, where's that hat? <clears throat> allergy attacks. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Look left. That one? That looks really far. <laughs> Not good. I did it! <laughs> I'm at the door! <laughs> this better be worth it, like... It is really cool. <laughs> the last time I did it, it didn't involve me dying this much. Fuck. What's that one? Cherry sorbet? Same again? one, yeah. Oh. It's good. I, I do prefer regular cherry, but this is... You know, it's almost too sweet. I hate cherry pop. Oh, really? I love cherry I coke. I fucking hate it. Cherry coke is my Tastes damn. like Dr. Pepper, and Dr. Pepper well, tastes like, like fucking Dr. soap. Pepper, so. And cherry Dr. Pepper is even better. Dr. Pepper doesn't taste like soap. Are you one of those people who think cilantro tastes like soap? I don't know. I love cilantro. I wouldn't want a cilantro soda, but... There is cilantro soda, isn't there? You have to go forward a bit, then turn around, roll towards the platform. What? And then followed by, sorry if my explanation aren't super good. <laughs> I think they're great, but it doesn't matter. Okay, then you tell me what to do, Joey. I don't know. Okay, you can decipher. Get your blood echoes. Okay. And then fucking roll onto the thing. What thing? I don't know. That thing? Look, man, 3D platformers left me behind after, like, Banjo-Kazooie, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Could I do make that? Fuck it. Nope. Yes. Oh. Look at you. Heal. Double heal. Hey, look at that. Boom! You did it. All right, ready? We got yeah. it. Okay. The ropes are. You ready All right, for this? open the door. This is you, man. Is this gonna be like the bit in Silent Hill Two where you find the dog who's got the computer? No. What? Because that's pretty great. It's an abandoned old workshop. It is. This looks very similar to the hunter's place. The hunter's. What do you fucking call it? Didn't we? Weren't we here once? Isn't this the same as the Hunter's Dream? It looks like the Hunter's Dream. Yeah. This is the Hunter's Dream. But it doesn't have all the bullshit. Yeah. What? Alright. There's nobody here, though. There is. Oh, he's dead. Is this just from the future to be one of the future? Hey, it's the doll! Well, this is just weird. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! One third of an umbilical cord. Good. That's good. When you get all three, um, you have the full umbilical cord. A great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord. Rip, uh, precipitated in blah blah blah. The pale moon. Back in the hunters and can see the hunter's dream. Use it gain insights. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna do some more shit. Okay. Uh, is this a hero item? Okay. A small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand up as brilliantly against the head of grayish hair. What about that old bitch? She has gray hair. Or put it on the doll. And maybe she'll come back to life like Frosty the Snowman and go, Happy Birthday! Old Hunter Bone? Old Hunter Bone. He just went past this gray. The bone of an old hunter whose name is Lost said that he was an apprentice to old German. So maybe it's your bone. Art of quickening. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sustained by a dream would tease an old art from his remains. Okay. Okay. 
So is this like a secret? Uh, yeah, like it, like as you saw, like it's not. Well, you can dress up as the doll now, which you were going to do. <laughs> in fact, I insist you do it immediately. Let me play the rest of the game and drag. Wait, wait, just put the just put the hat on. I want us to see that. Yeah, <laughs> that is fucking baller. What the fuck? This game is so weird. Yep. Well, that's our <laughs> costume now. I insist you wear that. Yep. But you know what would be even better? Now talk to the doll. She's like, why the fuck are you wearing my clothes, you weird fucker? <laughs> well, this is just fucked up now. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Not you, I was doing her voice. Oh. <laughs> but now I'm also like, what the fuck, dude? That's interesting. Huh. Now she's sitting. Oh, yeah. Someone stole my clothes. And she won't talk to you now, because, like, you're... Oh, no, she won't. Um, I can't help but notice, um... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What's this? What's this? A harem ornament! What's this? I left it in the place. What's this? I can't remember not a thing only. I feel I can't remember. Holy shit, I go on to the next line and what is this? You see what she did? She said something she never felt before? And she... Scratched her face. Oh, she wiped a tear away. Okay. And you got a tear stone. Good. Silver shining tear stone. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears unless its nature remains unknown. Huh. Okay. <laughs> It was worth it. It was worth he it. He doesn't think it is. It's not that it wasn't worth okay. it. it so was that just... is something from the game. Where you're just like, sweet, wait. That no, was, no, not, not just that. that. But also like this. Where you're yeah, just yeah. like, oh, cool. So where do I go? Yeah. And I think that that's the aspect of these games that frustrates me. Because it's like, where do I go? Oh, I wonder if there's a back area to this one. No. The side door. This is the side oh, door. Oh, well then. There isn't. Damn. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know where to go, and then that's frustrating to me. So I end up going nowhere. I end up going to the shelf and playing um, Tekken. <laughs> I don't know where to go, so I go somewhere. Yeah. I just got souls. Good. Don't, don't know I why. Got, I got rhythm. I got rhythm. Okay. I got music. Oh yeah, you were going to go down there and talk to that, or fight that thing, remember you said, I'm coming for you. Remember when you died? Thanks. Yeah. Could have without that reminder. Uh -huh. I'm not a fan of these uh, platforming parts. <laughs> Me neither, man. Okay. I got rhythm. I got music. I got possums in my bridges. Hey, I don't know the words to this song. Let's call the whole thing off. He's some kind of wolf Shit. man with horns, isn't he? Jesus, he's going full on berserker. Go here, you cross-dressing son of a bitch. Oh, he's got fire <laughs> hands. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think you made it mad. I think, you can, I think he can hear you, Ray. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't follow immediately, and I was like, oh, I beat him. And he just stood there, and I was like, ah! Oh, maybe not. You got a beast rune. Well, let's read it. Hi. A secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of the Bergenworth. A transcription of the raw of a labyrinth beast, the bearer of the beast rune, has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. It's not that hard to discover. I really like the quotations like, around things. Yeah. Where it's just like, eh, it's a beast rune. Carol, yeah? We asked you for a beast rune. When you That's... come and present us with a beast rune... We get suspicious. We don't think you did yeah, what we no. asked. No, no, it's a beast no, it's, rune. It's a beast rune. Carol, I'm going to ask you again. 
Fuck Carol. Okay, did you at least do the communion one? The communion, the communion one is re- done. No, see, now you're doing it again, Carol. Um, Are any of them what we asked? Yeah. Yes. Carol, yeah? Fuck off. It's a lantern. Got some steam. And it seems to me she lived her life like a candle in the wind. A night of curses. A night to remember. Wouldn't you say, friendo? Call it friendo. <laughs> you already said that, mate. You saying it again? Don't put me in there with him. Back alley. Oh. Mm. Used to be a nightclub in Calvary called the Back Alley. I never went. Land crows! <laughs> oh man, you got pecked. Those little fuckers pecked the shit out of you. Yar. Yar. You wouldn't have. Oh, more clothes. I got a rumpled yarn on my hat. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's awesome, but go back <laughs> to the bonnet, please. But hang on. Sweaty clothes. I prefer the doll clothes. So look. No, no. I insist <laughs> you go back to the doll clothes. Okay. Is this what you wanted? I'm wave happy! The wave, the wave. Oh, the wave? Yeah. Which one's the wave? Okay. Nope. Which one's the wave? I bet you it's like, wave. Just, don't, just, just. I'm just fucking selecting it. Okay. I'm doing this because I do remember that fucking guy. Ah! But not that dog. No. You did not remember. Okay. That fucking guy I will never fight. Fuck him. Hard? He's very hard. Mm. And he is a dick. Yeah. I think my favorite bad guys are the land crows. Fire scarecrow over here. How about a little fire scarecrow? <laughs> that was annoying. My laugh with those guys. Uh, those guys. Good answer. Your laugh was a. T- <laughs> it wasn't great. It was trying to be the cackle from the Wizard of Oz, but it didn't really work. That was the one over here. It's an elevator. Do you want me to take it? Elevation. Doom. You too? I love you too. Fuck off. Who, you know, it's such a stupid meme. Why? Do, who doesn't like you too? Why? Me. Why? Oh. I hate their music. That's stupid. They're good. <laughs> you too's great. Where am I? I like my cold <gasps> blood nice and thick. Wait a minute. I know this place. Shortcut. I think it is. It is! I wanted to wave at him. <laughs> so you shot him in the face instead. <laughs> hmm. What? It's oh. like you were still aiming at the other one or something. Oh my god. Dude, he's poking you with a stick. Yar. Yarn him. What's that, wood? I'm allergic to wood. Wouldn't you be if it was during through your heart? Wouldn't I be? No. There's a line in, I think it's Hotel Transylvania, when he asks, like, would it kill you if someone drove a stake through your heart? He goes, right, well, who wouldn't that kill? I do enjoy that. I like, I like that movie. I like the, I, I like the first one. I've seen it 800 trillion times, because my kids loved it, so I'm sick of it. And then the second one I also thought was okay. Hey, um, I also opened this up. The third Wait, I shouldn't have opened this up. <laughs> the third one's pretty not good, though. Whoa. 
Someone's shoosting you. I see that. I'm not a fan. Of being shoosted? Yeah, I could do without. <whistles> um. Happy. Oh, good call. Yeah. He just traded blows there. Yeah, but I got my health back and he didn't. Yeah, you did. I really wish that guy would stop shooting at me. And I wish shitty McGee would stop just sitting there. Where am I now? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. I bless the rains down in Africa. I bless the rains. Do you like my hat? It's a new hat. I got it down at the start. <laughs> I'm bowing so you can see my hat. Look at my hat. Come here where this guy can't it shoot. It is me. Hat City population. <laughs> my hat. <laughs> I enjoyed that too much. I'm glad. <laughs> Can I hit you? Yep. Through the railing, no less. Whoa! Ooh. Let's uh, calm down, mister. He's so proud of his height. <laughs> I want so to show you my hat! When the hat hits your face like a I pizza I was hat, not that's the more that close. Hat. When the hat goes ting-a-ling, ring-a-ting-a-ling, ring-a-ling-a-ting, that's a nice hat. Oh, Whoa! Whoa! I hurt my bum. All I wanted to do was to show you my hat. Hit me with your stick. This is what you get, man. I <laughs> also have a large hat. <laughs> I like that it's more, he doesn't have the accent the other guy had. <laughs> I like him my hat. Maybe that they one? have the same hat. And I they, also have a good I hat. I also have a large hat. <laughs> I wonder if they actually had the same hat, but one just looked bigger on him because he's smaller. <laughs> I bought you one, too. It was like a trick of forced perspective. It was like those Hobbit movies, you know? Why didn't you shoot him? Pen. There you go. I'm almost out of pens. You are. You need to get some more pens. You know how many pens you should get? 15. 15. Pen 15. Penis. <laughs> Uh, you've had too much coke tonight. <laughs> uh, or not enough. Did you ever think of that? I didn't. Well, hope you will next time. I own this town now. Someday, son. Goku! All this will be yours. What, the curtains? No, not the curtains. <laughs> What's that from? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> None of the curtains. What, the <laughs> curtains? <laughs> She's huge! Tracts of land. <laughs> Holy Grail. That was a good movie. Yep. I can recite it right now and have you R O T F L O L. I got a business doing websites. Oh. Uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna say, I, thought I saw a guy, but you seemed confident. So. <laughs> Maybe he just blended in. <clears throat> that was good. Good job on that guy. Uh, oh, so I could have just gone up these stairs and avoided all of that shit. Yeah, but you know what? Maybe the real Bloodborne was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Maybe it was. Are you fi Have you gone to the cathedral yet? The, the upper cathedral, Cineplex Odeon, or whatever we're going to? Odeon? I think wow. it was, I'm pretty sure it was Cineplex Odeon. Cineplex Odeon. Oh! I thought you were a statue. Hey, man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he squished you with his estate. Wait, what the it, fuck is going on? What, what's happening here? Yeah, if you get, if that bar gets full, then you're squished. Yeah. It means you got too much squished. Careful, man. He's going to squish you. That this is my stick. <laughs> Would you like oh, to see Oh, my stick is too heavy. I fell oh, over. Oh, shit. This is my stick now. <laughs> you killed my brother and his stick. Why you do this? We just want to show you them. <laughs> oh, now we are both dead. We are dead boys. You, we are your good dead boys. Happy. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to strike you. <laughs> I don't know why you hit me. <laughs> well, 
out because I was like, God, he's not healing. He's got to heal. What if he dies? Then he'll have to run through all this again. Weird. Yeah. Sweet Jesus Christ, Brian. How many fucking times have we got to tell you to stop bringing these statues here? Well, I just thought uh, that uh, my last job, they kind of got mad at me for having all these statues. Um, I thought maybe they would kind of lend a certain ambiance. Uh, material used on a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before. Used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth, Hintatombs. As we all know, that eyes are called the windows to the soul, but they're also the uh, key to the labyrinth. That's a lesser known. So Eyes on the aphorism. inside, yeah. but no one remembers what that means. <laughs> that is a tiny door. Oh, it's, it's a window. For, it's for hobbits, isn't it? It's a window. I weren't dropping no eaves, sir. I should watch that again. Lord of the Rings. We talked about this last time. New topics, Brent. Come on. There's a bug in the basement. By Dr. Seuss. Hello! I'm coming inside level six. This door is very heavy. <laughs> Jesus. This seems a little bit... Uh, Goku had some... Goku needs to spend more time in the hyperbolic time uh, chamber. It's a thing for Dragon Ball. Hey, we got the little, like, uh, Cthulhu guys here. That's some fucking um, in's mouth shit. I dig it. <clears throat> this is going to be a boss. This looks like the room you fought the last boss in. It does. But no Arthur this time. Oh, cutscene! Is this the first cutscene we've seen? Today, yeah. I mean, like, since the beginning of the game. Has there been any... I don't think we saw any other cutscenes. I don't remember. Who's this dude? This looks it's, sad. I think it's a woman. I didn't mean it gendered dude. I just meant, like, duder. Oh, yeah. she's mourning. Oh, my watch doesn't work anymore. Oh, time oh. oh! Oh, shit! My watch! Oh, God! I think my watch exploded! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this looks like the thing that was hanging. You're like, I'm gonna have to fight that. And you didn't, but it <clears throat> had the same feet. I bet you it was one of these. Remember what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Looks just like it. In the other church? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's a, it's a deer with a luchador mask on. It's a lucha deer. It's Vicar Amelia. Oh, it's the Vicar! Hello, Vicar! Oh, I don't do any fucking damage to this so, fucking thing. I guess it's like an Anglican, so like the Church of the Blood, or whatever the fuck is called, is like an Anglican church. Whoa. We're fighting an Anglican vicar. There is a chance that I'm... Going to die? Yeah. Uh, too, too low level. UP? Yeah. You gotta LVL up. I don't know. It's one of those games where you could fight everything without having to level up at all if you know what you're doing. Oh, wow, that actually worked. No. It did. It's doing very little damage, but... Just keep sidestepping. Don't step back, step to the side. Mm -hmm. It's praying. Yeah, see, so yeah, you sidestep that shit, and then you get a couple blows in, sidestep again. But not so many blows you don't have any stamina to do it again. This is easy. You got this. Sidestep. See? You're so good at this game. See, it, it, it staggers it. Her. Excuse me. Come on. Okay. You're doing great. You were. I got cocky. And you got punched in the face. It's great, kid. Don't get cocky. Excellent. Alright, well. I didn't know there was a doubt. Oh, so that's right. the problem. When they st you get stun locked, right? Oh, Jesus. I'm not fighting this fucking thing. <sighs> yeah. What time is it? <clears throat> uh, 10.30. I probably got another 25 left of me. Nah, I'm calling it. Okay, that's fine. This too. is me. Because I gotta go to work in the morning anyway. Me too! Here, yeah. gainful employment. Yeah. Oh well. Well, that was bad. good. We got yeah. to level five. Fucking rights we did. I'm and gonna we found the abandoned old workshop. I'm gonna we do. We dress up as a woman. Yeah. It's a. 
it was very successful. Hello. Give us give us one more wave before we before we head out. <laughs> They're wearing urns now. Oh yes, they are. That's... I peed in those urns. The gloves of the executioner from a faraway land. Bass from executioner, father from executioner, son. Oh, there's so much saliva in your mouth when you're saying all this, and I hate it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's gross. What's the part of this? The voice is... Oh, yeah, Goku's in a fucking... Oh, yeah, I forgot. We put him in a bonnet. <laughs> ja! Bonnet. Ja! Yeah, this is... Hey, funny. um... Are you enjoying the new 4K TV that I bought? It's beaut. Woo! Look, you can it's really... You can really see Goku. Now you gotta get a PS4 Pro. Fuck that. And a game that isn't, like, 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Bloodborne yeah, I want to get a 4K TV myself, but then I'll start buying because I buy a lot of Blu-rays, like too many. Yeah. Like I'm gonna get fucking divorced because I buy too many Blu-rays. But um, I'm not actually. She's not watching, but that would. That's so stupid. But uh, oh no, I was I, I just got 99 souls and I don't know why. Good job. I got 99 souls. So it's weird that I, I searched for pizza and none of these that are popping up are the pizza place that you mentioned. I thought we were in the dream. We're not in the dream. We're living the dream. Remember, you were in that other place. You're like, doesn't this look like the dream? And I was like, yeah. Remember? Right. It was one of those times yeah. where I'm like, I don't like playing this game. Hey, remember when you got killed by the hand from Legend of Zelda? We don't talk about the hand. <laughs> That's great. Didn't I get to a boss? Oh, probably. Fuck. Go well, find well. a boss. <laughs> this is a nice TV. Though. Level. It's curved. It is curved. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I don't think curved does anything. But if you talk... Well, it's nice depending on which side you're sitting on, right? Because if you sit far to the side on a, uh, a non-curve... I saw it from my computer. And I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. But on a flat one, if you're sitting off to the oh, side, yeah, you wouldn't be able it, to it doesn't shit. look right, right? It's not just because of the angles, because of the actual way it's displayed. Like, it'll, like, look just like color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, when I talk to the Best Buy guy, which, by the way, like... If you work at Best What's Buy, gonna tell you good like, on you, yeah. but you're not professionals. No. They, but he was like, it's curved because of the shape of your eye. And I'm like, I actually think that is what you're, like, what the manufacturers are like. The reason we went curved is because your eyes are curved. I think that's real, but it's still a bullshit reason to buy a curved TV. But it was on sale, so I was also like, yeah. I mean, your balls are round, too. What does that got to do with anything? Well, at least mine are. Are yours round, too? Oh, uh, okay. You got square balls? I got take balls. It's like, um,. It's a family disease. What's the name of this pizza place that I'm supposed to be looking for? Dimitri's. It's not on this list. Oh, is it? Does it not? It's up the street. I know. I passed it's right it on my there. way in. But it's not on We can take a break I'm to go get I'm not doing that, man. Okay. Oh. Wait, we've been through this door. I thought we hadn't been... I don't remember. You need to go back to level five. Where we've been... No, this is level five. Well, good. Then kill all the bad guys. Oh, there's a party happening in here. Oh, sweet. Let us in, we're dressed as a lady. Anaya curses. Anaya to remember. I to remember is the movie about the Titanic. <laughs> Titanic is also a movie about the Titanic. You're right, it is. Hey man, starring this is what Billy I'm here for. Zane. You know, I don't think it was starring Billy well, he's Zane. Well, he's in. <laughs> Titanic with Billy Zane. Leonardo DiCaprio was just like, fuck. Well, at the time, nobody gave a flying fuck in a high window about Leonardo DiCaprio. Main Street or Alley? Alley, always. Alright, Alley it is. Finds it strange. Gonna get me a hooker, gonna hold her tight, gonna what grab a the map. Hey, you blue, 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 land crows. Ah, the land <laughs> So the Joker yeah. was awful. Yeah, bad movie. Bad Glad movie. you liked it, but bad movie. It was... Bad? I think, like, I like it because, yeah, like, Joaquin Phoenix was really good in it. Like, was good. I think he's the saving grace in my mind. But I agree. If you if 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 the whole movie, this is what someone said on Twitter that I read, and I was like, I love this description. It was, if you condensed the Joker into a ten minute thing, <laughs> ah, fucking dog, into a ten minute thing, and that ten minute thing was in a Batman movie, it would be. What was that? Yeah, let's not go that way. Um, it would be a good Batman movie. Mm. 
Like, I mean, I'm like, all right, well, that also depends on yeah, the I have, Batman. Because I also have, like, I know there are certain Batman movies that you like that I don't like. Like, most of them. <laughs> Explain yourself. I like Batman. I like Batman Returns. I think Batman Forever is one of the... Is, it, is bad. It's just a bad movie. It's Batman. bad forever. Batman and Robin I actually think is fine and people shit on it, but it's actually fine. I think Batman Begins is one of the most boring movies of all time. You died, man. Those were just regular. We guys. didn't die. We had an allergy, allergy attack. attack. Right, allergy attack, but you didn't use your epi uh, Batman Begins is just tedious, endless, boring, and shitty. Which but one? Batman Begins. The first Nolan. And then The Dark Knight I think is fine but also about an hour and a half too long and pretty boring, but has good stuff. And then The Dark Knight Rises, I just think is ludicrously stupid, but it's still better than Batman Begins. So I like most of Dark Knight, but not any of Rises or Begins. Uh, I didn't see Batman vs. Superman, because I don't like when superheroes fight each other, and I hated the, Man of Steel. So. The only part of Batman vs. Superman I liked was there was a scene where Batman is, like, swinging, like, dragging Superman. Um, okay. And he just has this killer line that I love. And it's like quintessential Batman Superman. Yeah. And it's just Batman going, uh, I might get this wrong if anyone's going to fucking fact check me on YouTube or shit. But it's like, um, uh, your parents probably taught you hope and justice and doing the right thing. And he's, like, dragging him, and then he gets to a point, and he's, he's dragging him by the grapple hook. And then he hits the grapple hook, so it starts retracting. But as he does it, he starts swinging him, so it, like, picks up momentum. And he's, like, spinning him around this room, just hitting every column in the fucking room. And he's like, my parents taught me dying in a gutter for no reason. And you're just like, like, horrible writing, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck. Oh, that is... Awful really writing. The but, worst thing I have ever but heard. But it's just the whole life. aspect of him just being Holy like... shit, dude. It's totally just him being like, fuck you, you righteous this piece of sucks. shit. Not everything sunshine and lollipops. That's pretty funny, but wow. Yeah, the movie wasn't great, but it wasn't... Yeah, that's... Fire ah, still alive! That's, that's something. My parents taught me dying. Cool. Good job, bud. Way to be. So, as you're doing this, I'm just like inspecting various pizza locations in an attempt to find what will be an optimum pizza to eat. Greco's <laughs> pizza sounds interesting. Why is shrimp and mushroom your regular fucking. <laughs> I will not be doing Because it. I'm sloppy. Where's Slop this? along with Do you want to know where this elevator goes? Uh, yeah. This one's going up. Yeah! Oh, Goku, you're covered in dirt and blood. Yeah, I know. Cool, huh? Hey, uh, pizza. Pizza. You have like, a, like 500 Greek pizza places around here. Where the fuck am I? Uh, you're in uh, level 6 now. Wait, so that's the top there, but I can't get it. I don't remember here. you being here. Who's that dude? I don't know. Someone dead. Yeah, I know. Can't you talk to him? What kind of stupid game is like? <laughs> Yeah, good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> he nice. looks like a hunter. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> here. I like the wave still. Yeah. Hi! Oh! <laughs> Hi! Yeah, but, so, it looks like this should be a shortcut, but there's no way... Yeah, fuck that shit. I think it's just a shortcut back to the cathedral. Oh! Hey! Nice! <laughs> -da -da -da. My parents told me I'm dying in a gutter for me. I like that. Oh, shit! Nope, if you don't have anchovies as an optional topping, you don't get my fish. Oh, 
We were playing D&D on Monday, and oh, yeah. my buddy for DMing has a soundtrack now. Oh, cool. Um, what the fuck? Monocular time! What the fuck, the fuck is that thing? It's a place, doesn't it? Um, it's like a fucking squatting guy in a robe. So it's like me, first thing in the morning. Me waking up on Monday morning. Waking up morning. on Monday morning with my squatty. He's on a squatty potty, leave him alone. Kill it! Hello? Oh, what the fuck is wrong with your face? He's got tentacles, yo! That's a Cthulhu son of a bitch. He's got blue lights. Whoa. Oh, shit! Break you, up! Oh, you're fucked, you're so fucked. Nice! Oh, nice! You gotta dodge that shit, but... <sighs> you need to use your heavy bed. Okay, just time dodge it. Can't. Why are you not dodging it? Like, what is he doing? He's just ah! Breathing your soul. Yeah. It's like a sea cucumber. What the fuck is that thing? Yeah. I don't know, man. He's a bad dude. Did you we go the wrong way? I don't know what the right way is. This game doesn't have levels like a regular video game. This game is for good gamers, not for me. I fucking play Tetris. Ooh, Pangea pizza. That sounds good. I play Tetris! Ooh, Pangea pizza. <laughs> I have watched a playthrough of Bloodborne. Yep. Twice now. Oh boy. And I have no fucking idea where I am. So let that sink in. Hip. Hoop. Hop. Hip. Hop. That's Link. Yep. I was gonna buy Link's Awakening and instead I got Happy Fire Emblem and then I can't play it. I have Link's Awakening. Good. It's good. I mean, I. The reason uh, I ended Fire up, Emblem, you said? Yeah. Uh, my I friend ended, has it. The reason I ended up getting Fire Emblem instead is because I was like, well, I have actually played Link's Awakening Ooh. twice on the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color, so. Hmm. Yeah, I played it on the Game Boy too. That was actually the first game I ever played. Really? Cool. Mine was probably Mario World or Link to the Past or something. This was really great, but my favorite is fucking actually the two Capcom Game Boy Color ones, Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I wish they would remaster those ones. The Four Seasons one? Yeah, the, was that the one where you could buy two was, versions? Yeah, there was Oracle of Sea. There were two separate games. That, depending yeah. on what order you played them in, you got a slightly, like, very slight, but, like, they kind of continued. Out. You could start whichever one you wanted, and then um, the other one would continue where you left off. It was pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, so they're really good, they're, but they were made by Capcom. Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. One was a bit more combat heavy, one was a bit more puzzle heavy. They're both really good. Okay. Okay, I'm tired of looking at this, so I'm gonna just get this Italian pizza. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this Molotov cocktail up your bum in my thing. In your thing, yes, yeah, so that's what I said. In my quick. Slot. In your pee hole. <laughs> it's funny. I got some wings. Would you have some wings? Sorry, I, I'm throwing Molotovs like all around me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like, gonna ah. take your silence as a yes. Yeah, I need wings. Wings are good. Wings are delicious. So should I tell them to come to the lower door? Is that? Yeah, that's what I do. I always put a note on it, being like, use the lower door. Where are you? My lovely, bow, 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 bow. where do you go? I wanna know, no, 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 oh, 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 o
Five Blood Gemstone. Oh, 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 I don't, I refer a blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare blood stones that grow on cold blood. Blood gems are kneaded into weapons using workshop tools, but only one of matching shape. Most waning blood gems provide rare special effects such as fire, bolt, or healing. I like how bolt is an effect, not lightning. Do, 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 do. Test your might. Oh, we got to... Uh, didn't realize you were streaming so soon. Just finished your stream. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. There's nothing here. There was no purpose for me going. Fuck you, Bucket! I'll take your ass! I'm not gonna lie, that was really so bad. I did that. I was like, well, this bucket's pissing me off. I'm just gonna break shit. It's just one of those days when you don't wanna wake up. Everything is fucked. Everybody sucks. You don't really know why, but you wanna justify ripping someone's head off. That's from Limp Biscuit. Limp, Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. I used to call them Floppy Biscuit, but their name was Limp Biscuit. B I Z K I T. Remember they did that song for Mission Impossible 2? Oh, yeah, they did. And then in the, this story gets a bit dark. In uh, When I was in um, grade. I guess it was grade 7 or something that movie came out. But a kid who went to my school died that summer, and I started with that accident. And then they changed the laws about. Miners working in construction sites in the city. Anyhow, uh, at his funeral, they played his favorite song, which was the Limp Bizkit, um Mission Impossible song from that movie. And I remember even then going like, oh, boy, I that song, I see. His favorite song was the Limp Bizkit song, and they played it, and at even at the funeral, you said, oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I heard all of that yeah. crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know. To go. He was age appropriate for that to be his favorite song, and it was era appropriate, but it was still kind of just like, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't get along with that kid either. It was the first time I was, was just like, oh, should I really keep hanging on to this grudge? So this Probably not, thing. right? <laughs> I mean, I kind of won. Fuck it, I'm going for it! Do it! Ah, Mad Men's knowledge! What's happening? What does that do? Oh, what? there's someone there! Whoa, look at that dude! What's Mad Men's knowledge? I don't know, it's a skull, we've read it before. He doesn't look that bad. Okay. You've killed guys like him before. He's got a bag. Let's do this. Oh, I didn't do it. I thought he was dead for a second. Yeah, just keep doing that. He's slow. Oh no, he's doing like a weird thing. He's turning red. What the hell did he do? There, quick. Bang! How do you know when to do the shoot to make Oh sure shit, he hits hard. Anyway, look at the size of him. He's a big one. Oh, and he jumps! Oh man, holy shit, he hits hard. You can regain some. Oh, you're also out of heavy vents. Oh shit! Yeah. So just kill him. Just take it. Oh shit! Just take your time. You found no. a glitch, motherfucker! Oh yeah! Oh, glitch! Glitch! I didn't see a glitch. What was the glitch? He just couldn't get through the door. And He's I too tall. That's not a glitch. It's just <laughs> yeah. big, that's not a glitch. That's, that's size. Just, well, yeah, it's just life. Sometimes you clearly never played, played with the things. toy where you had to put the triangle into the square hole. Oh, that's a glitch. That was a glitch. Wait, we look. fixed the glitch. There's nothing for me to do here. Kind There's of. nothing for me here now. I want to go with you in the ways of the force and become a Jedi like my father. Ugh. Looks cool. Chuck. I tried to watch that with uh, my daughter. The first Star Wars? Yeah, because she yeah. wanted to watch it, not because I was like, you yeah. need to watch this. She fell asleep. Yeah, my kids have not um, gotten all the way through it yet, but they haven't watched any of the other ones either. It's just, it's just a long movie, right? The beginning doesn't it have is. as much excitement. No. I told her Empire Strikes Back is better. Uh, you know, I think that Empire probably is better. My favorite is the first one, though. A New Hope? Yeah. That's an exploit, not a... Exactly, that's not this is an exploit. Yeah. Speed run... Um, speed I guess we'll run through here now? Sure. 
I've been here, though. You need to find some EpiPens. Oh, shit. Is Sir! That... Sir! Hey! You know, I'm over here. Why would you point over there? Sir! Sir! How does Tobey Maguire find levity on set? Sir! Yeah! I reached the side and pulled up nothing. Nice. Do you have... Oh! Look at that. Epi pen. Okay. So that's where I came out, but like, the fuck. He, how are you doing? I've seen your nearly competent Twitch channel. Yeah, you're on it. What? What? Yeah, it's. I mean, I, I, you can convince me otherwise, but it seems like that's probably a bot. Why would you come onto a Twitch channel and say, hey, I've seen your insert on the Twitch channel, Twitch channel? Well, explain You're yourself. not going to influence my election. <laughs> Did you know Justin Trudeau also likes Soulsborne games? Click like and subscribe. Like him? Like a, like a werewolf? Yeah. Sweet. I'm going to have a photo of a... Ooh. I like your side. Ooh, where are you going? Great job, I love that style. I'm with, with Joey, I'm about to create custom emotes and sub badges for your channel. Follow the slide address in my profile banner. Have a really nice day, blood blood forever. I knew you weren't real! What's his name? <clears throat> Senteg Kafifa 74N. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, no, I know. Robot. Robot home friend. Wait a minute. The sofa. Oh yeah, we're good. Hi! I remember this part. Uh, hey, wasn't there a gigantic tall one up at the top of those steps? Yeah, we used to go... Are you pointing a... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Give me back my health. Kick your ass, yo. Game dead, though. Ah! He killed you! You died. Saying more stuff. No, that was the second stuff. Oh. I don't know. He's a robot. He's a robot. I don't let robots tell me what to do. It's like, uh, end of the world. Well, actually, we're not robots. Robots is, uh, what is it? Greek, and it means, like, uh, slave. And we're not slaves. It's not Greek. The robot comes from a Polish play called um, Rossum's Universal Robots. But that's not what they say in the movie. Which movie are you talking about? End of the World. I don't know what that movie is. What the hell's the end the of the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost one? Oh, the end, oh, At World's End. At World's End. Yeah. Are you sure it's At World's End? Yes. Because sure the, at World's the name end. of the pub is called uh. At World's End. The World's End is the name of the pub. Boy, you're um, <laughs> not doing so hot tonight there, big guy. This is like you when you played at Extra Life. Yeah, this is like me when I play almost anything. Extra Life, by the way. Coming up. November 2nd. November 2nd. I'll be on YouTube. I won't be streaming to Twitch this year. Why not? I'll be going directly to Tube. Why is that? Tell uh, me the thought process. Because I tried to edit them all into one video from last year. Yeah. And the end result video was like five gigabytes. And I went, yeah. no. Yeah, that makes sense. Acquire Blood Echoes. Oh, good. Do you not store locally as you're recording these things? A copy? I do, yeah. Oh. But I edited them into one long video and I was like, yeah, here we go. Oh. 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 You survived that one. I did amazing that one. Yeah, see, I was right. World's End. It's a good picture. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's a good picture. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a long time. This time I'm going to remember that there's a dog. Out of them land crows, right? What are you doing, dog? Yo, like dog! Big dogs! Yo, dog, we heard you like killing people in the house. Alex, Alex, stop! Yo, dog. Okay. Just a nice little shortcut. Wrong button. I just haven't played in a while, and I forget the minutia of the game. Oh God, please hurry. How did you like my stream? Only one person in the game died. 
I only caught the tail end when I was like, hey, I'm here. And then I left because I had to get ready for him to show up. But what I saw was very good. Was this, Did uh, you have any more technical issues? What were you, what were you playing? She, she was playing Until Dawn. I like Until Dawn. Until Dawn is really good. Have you played the Man of Medina or whatever? I own it. I'm ready to play it. I liked Up Till Dawn a lot, so I'm down. We could switch and play that tonight if you want. No, no, I don't mind. This is fine. No, I don't mind either. No, I mean, we've got this. It's up to you. I mean, we've got to continue. You've got to event. Yeah. If you end up rage quitting, that's fine. We can always switch over. How much longer did you play Blair Witch after I had to I had to go and work? A little bit, actually. I was... I was like, I'm watching this, but I'm as a result not doing any work, and I want to go home with actually. Ah, you hit me. Health book. No tech issues, but Sam and I. I don't remember any of the characters' names, so you'll have to tell me if it was. Um, Sam. All I know is that Freddy is that uh, Mr. Robot is in it, and so is the cheerleader from. Uh, and the guy from Agents of Shield. I've never seen an episode of Agents of Shield. Luck. Oh, Marvel. I got distracted. Yeah. Ooh. Marvel. Um. I remember seeing Until Dawn. Of Samantha. Oh yeah, it was the cheerleader. Hayden kind of here. Hayden died. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. So what you're saying is you killed the world. Yeah, the world ended because you didn't save the cheerleader. Okay, I'm gonna go left. Top of the stairs, left. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Fuck you, guy with weird cross! His name is Jesus, and that's not a particularly <laughs> nice thing to say. <laughs> His name is Jesus. I watched the end of Preacher. I've watched the first five minutes of the first episode once, and I didn't stop because I thought it was bad. I stopped because I always do, and then I never continued it again. I would like to watch it one day. I liked The Boys. I watched all I that. still need to watch The Boys. It's pretty good. We haven't been here yet. This is a cave. This must be level six. Yeah, because the boss is in that church. Remember, I was like, I'm not doing this fucking boss. Okay. Because it's a bullshit boss. Yeah. Remember, it's the lady who's praying. Oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah. she's like, la, 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 and we were both like, you became gigantic, and I couldn't beat her. Gigantic. I think I tried to beat her. I think I ended up like not rage quitting, but pretty much being like, fuck this game quitting. Gigantic. Because it was also late. It was late in the evening. When we both had to work in the morning. Did we? Oh, yeah, we did. It was a weeknight, I think. It was a weeknight. Yeah. They're in a forest now. That's nice. It's nice to see a different environment. I was getting really fucking sick of seeing shitty town and cathedral shit. This looks way cooler. I have no memory. This is definitely the best looking environment so far. Are you just saying that because it's different? No, I'm saying I actually like this with the other ones. I was kind of like, okay, cool. I can't really see anything, but cool. Whoa, what's that dude behind you? Oh! Devil Love with knives in his face! Knife dog. Oh, he shot you! What a dick! Ah! Knife dog! Ah! Knife face! Oh, you're dead! Oh, trip to this ball is to move him slow. And not running it. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> In the old pantaloons here. Don't want the people to see the old testicles. Testicular fortitude is what I have. And as a result, hey, I got a song going. I forgot all about this. <laughs> Abandoned old man. That's the only back there. Do you want me to just run into the boss and see about doing the boss? You do you, my man. <sighs> I'm just here to comment and make pithy remarks and make fun of you and you die. Healing church. Try not to die this time. Okay. Falling off the bridge. Like Fuck! That. I don't know, I'm good. You didn't die, but you hurt yourself. You hurt your knees! Superhero landing, man. So you're gonna co op Man of Medina, eh? That's cool. Yep. That's such a cool idea. I love that they did that. Well, so what she and I have to do is it doesn't have online co op, but we both play at the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. still pretty cool, though. Oh, absolutely. I'm really excited to, like, do the online port, like, hit a I killed that dog without taking any damage for the first time ever. Um, 
Yeah, where like each of you have a controller, and it's just okay. Now you're in control, mm -hmm. and like it designates like these are your characters. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Like yeah. Goku. Chala. Yeah. Yes. This time we got it. Bye bye. Bye, suckers. I'll be able to do you. Oh no. Ciao. It does have online co-op as far as I know. Oh, cool then. I we thought it had like multiple versions of it. <laughs> I wanted to do Watch that. Watch those guys be at the bottom of them. Oh, they're going to be at the bottom being like, what's up, man? I'm like, sorry, I... <laughs> oh, no, 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 I had to be out of the house in all fucking day. Well, I didn't even get a chance to relax. Why did you have to be out of the house all fucking day? Tell us about your ride. Uh, let us be, you'll, you'll, I you ran into relate to, to a issue in my house uh -huh. in which there are um, big rats. <sighs> rats of enormous size. Unusual size. Rose. But anyway. <laughs> Fuck you and always being right. Anyway, you can um, um, I've been seeing like flying uh ants. Maybe you should do fewer drugs. Oh yeah, those aren't you don't want flying ants, you don't want ants. No. So I, I messaged my uh the property management company. Yeah. Good old um, and I said, hey, there's flying ants. And I have a pretty good management company. So fucking awful at this game. Oh, come on, buddy. It's not just this game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You. <coughs> God! So um, they, they fumigated or something? Yeah, they came in today. Poison he was here at 8.15 in the morning. Ooh. And he was like, yeah, it's good to be out of the house for like four to six hours. And I was like, oh, shit. Um... So what did yeah. you do? Uh, luckily I had plans for lunch. So that was good. You also live in like a pretty good spot to find shit to do. Right? So my initial plan, because this happened on like Tuesday that this was scheduled, I went, oh, I'll just go to Starbucks in Kensington. There's another really good comic book store near there, too. Is there? Another dimension is in Kensington. Oh, yeah, it's up the street. Yeah, it was not yeah, yeah, yeah. far. No, no, no. Sorry. I thought you meant like there was one right beside. And I was like... Um, so anyway... Yeah, you're fucking good. You're a piece of shit. This guy's look like the Grim Reaper from Bill and Ted's Wilkes Training. You say that every time. Um, but guess what? I don't want to guess yourself. What? Uh, sorry, I got distracted. It wasn't me. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, the Starbucks is in the place. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, and I found out like today at my lunch, it was actually the first Starbucks ever in Calgary. Oh, well. There's still like five other coffee shops. Like, yeah, I uh, walked downtown. I actually walked out to the called The uh, Higher Grounds is right there, and yep. the house is over there. And... Yeah, I just walked to where I knew the lunch was going to be. Which was the lunch? Uh, Joey at Oh, yeah. They got a movie theater over there. They do. That's where I go for Flashback Film Fest. Yeah, I've been going to some of those. Uh, that's where also where I saw Logan. I saw Logan, um, probably a short I went and saw Logan there because it's an older theater, yep. and I read a review that says that they were planning to do, uh, where did I go right? I mean, I could. No, I want to do this first. Yeah. Um, uh, because they were planning to do the Logan Noir, where it's all black, oh, the and, black white. and white. Version, yeah. yeah. And I was like, well, if they're going to do that, then they're not going to have crazy super graphics that I need, like, IMAX theater for. It. No, and, and really, like, it's all digital projection in all the theaters in Calgary except for the smaller ones anyway, and even those are usually digital projection unless they specifically say otherwise. Yeah, exactly. Which so. I always prefer, because otherwise you're kind of just watching a DVD with the old whatever. I also saw It. I haven't yeah. seen Chapter 2 yet. Me neither. My wife saw it and said that she liked my it My wife! Lot, and my friend saw it and said that I wouldn't like it. So I've had countering... <laughs> I've had two different opinions. I didn't like the first one that much. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I heard this one is bonkers and way too long. Oh, really? It's almost three hours. 
really? Yeah. That's too long. I don't remember who said it, but I kind of believe it. But it's they say that all movies should be 100 minutes, and every minute after that you have to earn. And so there are certain filmmakers who I trust to earn that extra runtime. Like the new Scorsese movie is three and a half hours, but I trust that he will have earned those three and a half hours. Once upon a time in Hollywood, it was almost three hours, but it can completely earn time run time. That's a fantastic movie. It is currently my number two film of the year. My face go. Got a face to not get to kill and find the lantern so we don't have to keep running back. So now I'll deal with this. Nice face to Dogs in Soulsborne games. Even in real life. Are fucking insane. Yeah, the new Christopher Nolan movie next year. It's called um Tenet! Tenet, yeah, I saw a trailer for it at the, the Joker picture. When I saw Joker too, yeah, and I didn't, like, oh, cool. I, I totally forgotten it existed, and I, then yeah, that was the first I've heard of it. I didn't see the last Nolan movie yet. I would like to. I still haven't had a chance to see it. And I know it's like sci-fi James Bond. That's cool. And yeah, like because it's the the word Tenet is uh, that it's a palindrome. Palindrome, and but like as you saw in the last half is like upside down, mm-hmm. and so yeah. yeah, so that's cool. Fucking Christopher but, Nolan. Uh, <clears throat> God damn, I love that. Yeah, um, I'm kind of 50-50. I mean, the ones of his that I like, I like a lot. Like, I really like Following, and I really like... Following is so good. I really like uh, Memento a lot, and I really like... Memento was awesome. I liked Insomnia a lot, and I saw the original, and I liked it a bit less, but I still like it. Um, I like uh, Prestige a lot. I don't care for his Batman pictures. I didn't see Interstellar, but I did like Inception, although maybe not as much as some. But it was still pretty cool. And then I haven't had a chance to see Dunkirk yet, but I've been meaning to. And I, I bet you I would like it a lot. Dunkirk was good. I liked Dunkirk a lot because cool. it was his. It was his like. Because <laughs> 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 uh, it was like his true story. Yeah, and I just liked the fact that he wasn't making another three hundred minute sci fi epic and like just make a movie, and he did. He's a very talented filmmaker. I just sometimes don't give a shit about the projects he, is, he makes. And I respect that he doesn't use uh, like if he can avoid special effects. Yeah, he does he will avoid when he can. Yeah. Again, my favorite my favorite Nolan story is uh, uh, what is not your Fuck uh, Not your favorite movie, but Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. The beginning when they do the airplane. Yeah. Um, it's actually in, in that book. And they describe, like, oh, yeah, so we actually did the airplane, and we actually dropped it, and this is where we did it, and this is how much it cost. Oh, and cool. then he goes, um, they did it! And they were watching the footage, and they're like, we can only do it once, so let's do it right. And so they did it, and then they're standing there, and uh, they're looking at the footage, and they're like, oh, this is perfect, we did such a great job. That uh, Sam Raimi shows up, and Jones like, "What are you doing here?" And he's like, uh, "I heard that you were filming some Batman stuff here." And he's like, "Yeah, we, we just finished. Uh, do you want to? Did you want to see it or that?" And he's like, "No. In a week, we start building Skyfall for the new Bond movie." Oh, well, he goes. Sam Raimi was involved in Skyfall. Who directed Sam Skyfall? Mendes? Mendes, and he goes. And he's like, oh, where are you building it? And he's like, uh, roughly where you dropped that plane. <laughs> and he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, you have a week to clean up. We have to start building that house. And so they had to build, they that's had to funny. clean up an entire plane crash. I'll tell you what, that movie, Skyfall, that's a piece of shit. I hated that movie. That is the worst of the new Bond movies, and I do not like them except for Skyfall. Well, that's not true. Quantum of Solace is worse. But Skyfall is, you know the problem with Skyfall? It's boring. James Bond movies should not be boring. Uh, we had a comment here, though, about um, the ad, the trailer for Ad Astra, which I am curious to see, but I, I haven't seen all, all of that filmmaker's films, but the ones I have seen, I don't like very much. What else has he done? Um, the Old Night was the one that I've never seen. Peter being like, ooh, this is not good. This is no bueno. No bueno. Let's look it up. 
Fuck you. And that was James Gray is the filmmaker. Oh. He made The Lost City of Z, The Immigrant, Two Lovers, We Own the Night, The Yards, for the Little Stuff. Well, actually, I've only seen We Own the Night, but uh, I've heard good things with The Lost City of Z, or Z, if you will. I thought Ad Astra looked pretty good, though, so I would be interested seeing that. I still want to see Highlight. Yeah, exactly. Same with the truck flip in Dark Knight. Yeah, they just flipped the truck. My, that was, uh, my dad's a trucker, and we watched that, and my dad yep. was like, Holy crap, that's incredible that he did that. Like, even he was like, it takes a lot to flip, flip a truck. He goes... Yeah, I, I, I appreciate any time a filmmaker will just do stuff practically. So, Nolan is a pretty cool dude. Ooh! Hey, buddy! Don't mind me. Ah! Okay. Part of me wants to just... Run this down. Uh, part of me wants to just fucking try running through this forest. Yeah, you should just... Uh, cheese book it. it. Book it until you can get to a, a lantern. Hoon, run. Hoon, run. Hoon, run. What's hoon? You just like saying hoon, run? It's something from a YouTube channel. They always say like, hoon it! But they're British, and it might be British slang. You know, like lift. It's not slang. <laughs> yeah. A lorry. I love or, love or hate Ridley Scott's films. He also likes his practical effects whenever possible. Yeah. Ridley Scott's usually pretty good. Ridley, Scott Ridley Scott's good is for... a filmmaker whom I respect a great deal, but also find one of his movies uh, not so hot. <laughs> but Alien is a perfect movie. Blade Runner is a perfect movie. Um... Might be his only perfect movie, but uh, he has other good ones. Zigzag! Zigzag, motherfucker! Cling clang! Haha, uh, -ha, we're in a door animation! We're in animation, motherfucker! Oh, Aw, it's like a fairy tale ah! Lantern! Light it! Good job. Ah! <laughs> But, uh, I, um, I frames for the win. Gladiator is a very good movie. I like Matchstick Man. I like Kingdom of Heaven. Um, Kingdom of Heaven. What else do I like? I know there are others. I, uh, I, I do know that I absolutely hate Prometheus. You didn't like Prometheus, eh? Uh, yeah, it's an understatement. I remember, like, being really excited for it. And then, like, here's how... I think of how, what order to say this in. I was very excited for it. I remember going to see it in the theater. It ending, the lights coming up, and me turning to my friend, and both of us going, "That fucking sucked, didn't it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, oh, that's disappointing." Um, but I will say this: the amount that I, the amount I hate Prometheus is that it made Alien Three and Four no longer the worst movies oh. in the Alien franchise. Like the fact that Ridley Scott was able to come back and make two movies worse than Alien Three and Alien Four. Was just, <laughs> it's like, wow, how'd you even do that? I didn't know that was doable. They said it was impossible. <laughs> there. God doesn't build his straight lines. Shut up, Stringer Bell. And then fucking Charlie's there and running away from the ship. And and it's like, run to the left, you dumb idiot. I get hate when they do that. I just, yeah. And also the whole scene with the machine using the fucking machine to take the alien out of her tummy. I'm like, this is stupid. Why would they have a fucking pod that only works for... Ah, oh, fuck off. Yeah, I know a lot of people do like Prometheus a lot. It's just, uh, you know... Wasn't Covenant? my cuppa. Uh, Covenant, I made it through the first 15 minutes before I went, Fuck this movie! So maybe You weren't in a theater. No, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say, you, you, no matter how much you hate a movie, I you would never... I don't know. I wouldn't say it. No, I would never say it out loud, ever. <clears throat> Uh, when I was, like, in junior high, I probably said stupid shit like that to be an asshole, but, like, no. I, I also... I'm trying to think if I've ever actually walked out of a movie. I never actually have. I've walked out of one movie. In what movie life. was it? Corpse Bride. Aww! Really? We we That's came in... Oh, to, shit, Lady Sami! That's a weird movie to walk out of, because, I mean, like, it's not my favorite movie, but it's fine. I... It's pretty good. I hated it. Really? I hated it so much. Interesting. I hated... Look at that. Look. Yeah. La, la, la. <laughs> Cor Corpus Bride has some great music. Like, it's... it's It kind of, to me, Corpus Bride really showed that, um... Courier's arriving with your food soon. 
Tim, Tim, Burton, Tim, is Tim Burton out of ideas? No, but Tim Burton didn't direct Nightmare Before Christmas. He just wrote the story it's based on and produced it. Like, that's all Henry Selleck is why that movie's so good. I'm gonna open the door so we can do You do Poor girl! Ah! Um, I made it further. I made it further, but I died. Um, no, I, I, it was after the third repeat, repeat joke mm. of the whole, like, play dead. Oh, and the dog's like, huh? And you're, I was just like, you've reused that joke three times? I'm sorry. I do not wish to, like, I'm out, and I got up and walked away. So I think Tim Burton is a very good craftsman, and some of his movies are brilliant, but uh, it's been a while since he made one that I thought was really good. No, I didn't see Dumbo. Uh, I, I really dislike all of these live action Disney movies. Awful. Lion King was pretty good. I didn't see it. I'll probably have to see it once it comes out on. Um, good enough that I bought it. Disc, my children won't want to watch it. But <gasps> Beauty and the Beast was just dog shit. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, one of the best and the Beast made movies. no fucking sense Beauty to me. Beauty and the Beast is one of the best Disney movies, if not the best. Why are they in the middle of the village? They have a farm in the middle of the village. Hmm, that's a good point. Why is there a farm in the middle? If I <laughs> was mayor of a village, which I know I'm not, but... What's G Uh, it's sugar-free energy drink. Yeah, and it's a powder. I got it for getting enough... Uh, donations for extra life. Oh, really? Yep. That's cool. What is here? Oh, now you did it. Where you is, pizza man? Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Fucking bitch came out of nowhere. What, pizza guy? She's just in the house. Pizza! <laughs> There's a scene in the Burbs where, like, you hear this, like, car crash, and Corey Feldman goes, Pizza Dude! And I think of that every time I order pizza. Corpse Bride is the only Johnny Depp film I like. Crazy talk. Should we... Johnny Depp's in a lot of great films. Also, you like Johnny Depp? I like Johnny Depp. You know like Johnny Depp? He's in a lot of good pictures. Not after what he did to Brie Larson. Yeah. I don't know. That, was it Brie Larson? No, so. it wasn't. The woman he was married to? I th wasn't he married to Brie Larson? No, 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 no. He was married to, um... Oh, oh shit, what's her fucking moments. name? Then She's not time. good at acting. What the fuck is her I name? She's in that movie I like, Just um... She was in one. The Rum Diary. Why can't I think of her name? Oh, there's Pizza Dude. <laughs> don't come to me. <laughs> Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Graveyard murmurs. Then it's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. That's a big old piece of hair. So, I forgot how big. This is a big piece of hair. Holy fuck! I found a guy in the house and he's weird. In a Bloodborne game? Yeah. Listen to what he says when you're ready. I'm ready. Jay, the graveyard murmurs. Then it's almost time. The graveyard murmurs is my misfits cover oh, I band. I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and terrorize y'all's neighborhood. All right, Vincent Price. This device is not currently operable. Eat? Yeah. I sure do. Whoop, whoop. We'll be back after this message. I'm actually going to stop the stream. Yeah. To be continued, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. To join my guests and I live, check out our Twitch channel, Nearly Competent. You can reach us at the social media links in these credits. And if you want to support us even more, check out our Patreon. Thank you to the fiends currently supporting us. 
We'll see you all next time. Have a good evening.